Okay, um, I'm going to attempt to make a product review of my housing for Blackberry 9330 Curve. This is the old broken housing I took off. Um, this is the new one. Oops, I'm trying to do this. <laughs> okay. See, I already put it on. I got silver. Um, everything is silver. Here's the original Blackberry. Everything's silver except for the the part that you put the I guess it's the motherboard, the guts, all the working components. This is the old one. As you can see, I don't know if you can see. It's not straight. I broke it in there when I tried to. It's it's not straight. It has a slight bow in it right there. I broke it when I was putting the the part in. Anyway, this is this is all my original pieces. This stuff, although it's aftermarket, it fits pretty well. Um. Except, okay, there's a couple exceptions. It's so dark in my room. This is the original Blackberry. It's all flush and straight. This one, it took me hours to get right here to snap in. And even now, this part is not closed. If you can see, there's a gap. Yep, it's not closed. See, on a real Blackberry, there's no gap. I mean, a real Blackberry. This is a real Blackberry, but it's aftermarket stuff. Right there, there's a gap. See, I could actually put this in, this little screwdriver. And this is a screwdriver they sent. They sent this. Which, um, it's cool because... The tip is magnetized, so it was easy to pick up the screws, but pretty much useless because it's so tiny. I had already bought a real one. See, that's a nice, that's nice. This is what you get for free when you order it, and this is, you know, this is much nicer. The grip, this turns, you know, it swivels, and... You can change the size from a T6. I don't know what the other size is, but it's definitely bigger than a T6. But it's not magnetized, okay? But I still appreciate it. They're free, so if you don't have one, it's better than nothing. Um, I think it looks good. It just looks weird. Because look. Okay, you see? Where the Blackberry, the the menu, you can't see it. It's so it's so silver. Why would they make it the same color? <laughs> it should be dark. In the back, see, you can't see. It's so dark in my room. Anyway, okay. And also because it doesn't fit right, like right here, you can see the gap along here. Just seeing, it doesn't fit flush when you put the screen plate on so it's hard to to push but other than that other than that it works you know and I have to keep pushing this down because like I said it doesn't fit flush but it was cool for the price I'm happy it looks good oh yeah and the third issue you see how the keyboard is black Actually, the one that came with it was silver. Here it is. Where's the numbers and letters? <laughs> they're there, but they're silver. So you can't see them. So it's kind of like this Blackberry, the menu key in the, in the back key, unless it's illuminated. You can't see, so it, you know. 
Yeah. But I'm happy. It does the job. It's better than nothing. I needed to be able to power back on my Blackberry because, like I said, I broke this part. And so when I would screw it in, it wasn't making contact, so I couldn't power it on because my memos and my texts were trapped in here. I was able to save my contacts, but... Oh, look at me. That's me when I was little. Yay, I'm cute. Anyway. Oops. What the heck? Anyway. Okay. Um, I know this is probably dark, but at least you guys know. Oh, yeah. almost forgot the good part. They gave me a brand new trackpad. That's my old one. And I put the trackpad in. Just the first time I got it right. And, um, yeah, that's cool. So I got a new trackpad. And, uh, again, because it's so flush, I mean, because it's not flush, see, it's completely in there. So, you know, I have to change the sensitivity because the rest of the housing don't fit right. So, therefore, the trackpad, like on this one, the trackpad sticks up just a tad bit, right? This trackpad is like kind of recessed, I guess that's what you call it. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say. Yeah, so, I just use my old keyboard, keypad. Not the new one. They give you a new one. Otherwise, if it just closed better, everything will be fine. But it's good enough for me to use. And now I have a backup phone again. Because when I broke this one, I was forced to buy another one. But now I have a good working phone. Except for that part. Ugh, it won't. It just won't close. Okay. Thanks.